Hey my ball of cereal, I know I've already made two videos about TikTok, uh, but since the uh, second one was about an even dumber trend than the first, fill it back up with vodka. I want to keep up the tradition to only make another TikTok video if it's about something dumber or worse than the previous one. And after this one, I'm not really sure if I'm ever gonna be able to make another TikTok video. So every few weeks, I'll do this thing where I'll reinstall TikTok and then make a fresh account using 10 minute mail, and then just log in for about 30 minutes, just to see what prime quality content the TikTok algorithm has to offer for its new users. And at first I got the same garbage as usual, you know, um, sex magic, person says dumb thing, Rant Rivera, and I don't even know what the fuck this is. And realizing the fresh account page was just the same as usual, I was about to uninstall TikTok again for like two weeks, uh, but then as I was about to close it, I came across this. What? What are they best at? Putting you on an FBI watch list? So yeah, this is a guy with 2.2 million followers on TikTok who for the past two years has actively been working towards convincing you to not want to be part of the human race anymore. His entire TikTok account is dedicated towards announcing to the world that he has a problematic porn addiction and promoting pedophilia? What are you trying to accomplish with this? You have a calendar on your wall where you're crossing off each day until you can finally be a legal creep? When I did search up TX Unami and um, she does appear to be 14 years old. Uh, so why haven't you been banned yet? From society? So wanting to know more about how he hasn't been banned yet, I went through all of his TikToks thoroughly and with much disgust. And I think I found the reason, or well, reasons, on why he hasn't been banned yet. See, with the first TikTok of him I ever stumbled upon, he blatantly shared the age of the babes. But he doesn't always do this. See, most of his TikToks actually have this loophole where he'd either say, best babes from specific year. I assume so you can't directly report him because does he mean the babes that were rated the best in 2009? No, obviously he means the ones who were born in 2009. Which makes him about 13 or 14 right now. And sometimes he might actually say uh, best babes born in specific year. Hose on left and right. And I just assume that his average viewer doesn't have the mental capacity to calculate age by birth year. This is so fucked up and creepy, and not only that, it's straight up discrimination against our elderly. I'm not just gonna stand by and do nothing. Oh, uh, mom, I'm just making a TikTok. Another way he's allegedly able to prevent himself from getting banned is by doing this. See, I get that that's a joke going around on social media with like, Haha, you creep. I took picture of your creep behavior. Uh, but that doesn't really work when not even two weeks later you're uploading a TikTok talking about the best looking 13 year olds. Left and, right. and since these are getting scary amount of views, I really wondered what his viewers might have to say about this. Uh, so with much fear I opened the comments and check bros hard drive, call the cops. You know, the reactions you'd expect. Uh, but then you have Meliodas 69 who for the 76th day in a row asks to see the best babes born in 2013. Now doing some quick maths that's 2023 minus 2013. A deserved life prison sentence. It's already known that TikTok has a huge child predator problem. Well, I'm not sure if TikTok's aware, since all the while I was scrolling through this guy's profile, I received a notification about their new, inclusive and safer community guidelines. You can say a lot about TikTok, 
but at least they do get their comedic timing right. Now, if I were this person, I'd do anything in my power to keep my identity as anonymous as possible. Sure, he's already sharing his face, but I never want anyone to find out more about my life. My activities, where I live, my Instagram account where I share both of those things. Luckily for us, this guy is a fucking moron who puts it in the description of his TikToks. Now he advertises his Instagram account by saying it contains all of this NSFW content, but his Instagram account is privated, so I sent him a follow request. And once he accepted it, imagine my surprise when instead of seeing content that make me want to pour bleach into my eyes, I saw the average Instagram page of a guy that grew up with the live aspiring dreams of becoming the new Jake Paul. Lost in my own thoughts. I wonder what his deep philosophical mind is thinking of. I sure hope it's nothing incriminating. At first I was kinda confused. Why put in all that effort to end up two inches away from being added to the sex offender registry? Just to promote an Instagram account that doesn't even cater towards your audience? But then I remember the small details. See, it already gnawed on me that his Instagram account was set to private. Why put in all that extra effort of having to accept every follow request? And then it hit me. I believe that he hopes that people from TikTok will search up his Instagram account and then send him a follow request, hoping to see more of his exquisite content. And then one day later, he'll accept their follow request, probably hoping that the requester has already completely forgotten about him. Which is a realistic expectation when your audience comes from TikTok. As a result, he now has new followers who will see his casual content pop up in their timeline, which they can interact with, growing his social media influence. This fucking guy is the dumbest, riskiest genius I've ever come across. But he had one fatal flaw in his master plan. He never expected a moron like me, actively searching for the most degenerate TikTok content he could find, to then make a stupid YouTube video about it. By now, I've probably been put on several special agents' watch lists. Uh, and to make it worth it, I first of all want to ask you to share this issue as much as possible and report the shit out of this guy so we can get him banned from all social media platforms. See, I'm usually heavily against cancel culture, uh, but this is criminal culture. Take it easy, my bowls of cereal, and I'll see you next week.